Hi again. Uh, in this session, we'll continue our discussion on uh, continuous uh, um, survival uh, models. So we started uh, the survival models. We introduced uh, XP0, XQ0, and then we add to it the force of uh, mortality and we did some calculations. So what we will do now is to go over another uh, little uh, concept. It's actually something you know, but we'll use actuarial math, uh, actuarial notation to describe it, which is what we will consider is, uh, what we look at is the uh, uh, expectation, like life expectation at birth, the com or what we will say is the complete, the complete expectation of life. We still at age zero at birth, we still at age zero. Later on, we will alter instead of at birth, we'll add at uh, different age. So we're still operating here. We have zero and the future lifetime. So we are looking at what is the expected life we here at time zero. It's the expected future lifetime, the full life, uh, uh, complete expectation of life. The actuarial notation for this, it's expected value, nothing in you, but the actuarial valuation to it, it's E and you will have zero and we know why we use zero this is still us age later on we'll change it to 5 10 or x in general and then we'll add there is another not here like little o uh, to the uh, of, uh, of it subscript superscript and this one is to tell us it's continuous So if you don't have the this one, the one on top here, the O on top, the not on top, then uh, then it's not continuous. It will be um, discrete. We're still working on continuous case. So E at the, or life expectation, complete life expectation at birth. This is expected value of X. And how we compute expected value of X is simple. We know that is we take the integration from zero to infinity of x multiplied by f of x dx, right? Simple. Another notation, what you will do if you do integration by parts, you can introduce, you can also show that this can be computed from zero to infinity, but instead of x multiplied by f of x, you can actually integrate s of x. We know what's s of x. Right, S of X, our survival function. So this is something you need to memorize, right? Obviously, it's very important to know. It's nothing in you other than new notation here, right? And we can take uh, one example. Let's take one example here. So let's take example, start it simple, uh, uh, X, and we know what's X. X is age at failure, you know, like a, a random variable. S is uniformly distributed between the same story let's take uh, 0 and 100 just as always just like to build our model and without doing anything you know what's the expected value of uniform distribution so uh, expected value of x we know it it's a for uniform distribution is usually it's between a and b it's a plus b over 2, right? For our case, a is 0, b is uh, 100, so it's 100 over 2 is 50. But what I wanted you uh, to do with the hard way just to build our, uh, uh, like, uh, to verify that we can use this one as well. Let's do it with this one. Right? So from 0 to infinity, uh, s of x. We don't have 0 to infinity, it's distributed between 0 and 100, so, oh, sorry, dx. So it will be from 0 to 100. What is s of x of uh, uh, un uh, uniform distribution? It's 1, uh, well, it's omega minus x divided by omega, or omega over omega 1, uh, x over omega is 100, right? dx. And this one can be, I'm using s of x. This can be x minus x to 2 divided by 2 from 0 to 100. If you do the math, will be 100 minus 100 to 2 divided by 2. 100 to 2 is 10,000 divided by 
to it should be a 50 right you can verify it yeah i mean oh sorry divided by 200 here it will not be 50 because there is 100 i forgot it right so we take 50 yeah 10 uh, yeah so 100 you raise it to 2 divided by 200 uh oops what is going yeah i think i made a mistake here no it's good um 100 divide, uh, raised to 2 divided by 250 yeah correct 50 minus 50 right? if you want just like to verify it also 0 to 100 uh, or infinity x f of x dx this is simple in uniform 0 to 100 quickly in uniform distribution x f of x of uniform distribution 1 over omega is 1 over 100 dx and this will become x to 2 divided by 200 from 0 to 100 if you uh, take the same thing it will be 50 right always i have my calculator yeah i mean it's clearly but just i like to slow down also by calculating uh, so uh, you can also take your time to calculate yourself but you can also always uh, uh, pause me and do your calculation as well right correct so that's uh, straightforward it's easy there's nothing difficult here right so let's take uh, exponential distribution or let's take you know summary of all commonly used distribution we we've done a lot of uh, every time i tell you memorize this memorize this but let's put them all together right at this moment just to review what we've done for uniform so x is uniformly distributed between let's say 0 and omega life x is uh, uniformly distributed between 0 and omega and we have like let's put f of x f of x s of x let's have also e 0 0 the expectation and let's have variance of x let's see for all of them f of x symbol is 1 over omega and f of x will be as simple as that one we need to remember it all the time is x divided by omega this one will be 1 minus x divided by omega because the opposite of f of x you can also think of it as instead of 1 x uh, over omega you can think of it omega minus x divided by omega right this one it's straightforward it's omega over 2 variance here if you remember omega to 2 divided by 12 right those you need to memorize them have them in your formula sheet but the more you do exercises you will uh, naturally will memorize them right so nothing difficult here for for this one right so let's this is number one let's do number two okay let's do let me delete these guys let's do instead of writing again oh i forgot also for uniform distribution also of x is I, I forgot also uh, to mention uh, this it will be 1 minus omega minus x for uniform right just write it down also it's a very important equation right but let's add another distribution now 2 is exponential with we need for exponential we need omega uh, not sorry not omega mu with mu with mu and the mu is fixed for exponential distribution simple simple f of x we know it it's mu e minus uh, mu uh, multiplied by x f of x is 1 minus e to mu x but do you notice here there is no mu multiplied by e it's that's the difference between f of x and and this one s of x 1 minus f of x so we are left with e minus mu x this one is constant is mu i didn't erase these guys here this one is 1 over mu it's 1 over mu to 2 right simple we need to memorize these guys as well right we need to memorize these guys as well okay so very easy 
let's add a third yeah I mean th those are very important uh, also last, last time I told you the general formula when you have the uniform it's not uniform but rather it's raised to like when you have the mu of x similar to uniform in the sense that uh, omega minus x remember uniform is 1 over omega minus x and x is surrounded between 0 and omega now this distribution here imagine instead of one it you have it to r we did it last time we did the question r r can be two three four five this one s of x will be similar to our uniform distribution of s of x uh, over omega omega minus x but raised to r right it's very similar very very similar if you want f of x you take this you subtract it from one so f of x 1 minus s of x is omega minus x divided by omega r. Right? This is another another one. But what if uh, we want e 0 0, right? What is e? Is it like expectation. And this one is similar to uh, this the uniform distribution, but we don't divide it by 1. We divide it by r plus 1, right? And this is very important for us to uh, keep it in in our mind. This, right? It helps us to uh, calculate uh, compute uh, values quickly, right? So let's take a few examples here. It's a short uh, lesson here, but let's take a few examples. The example I wanted, you know, sometimes you are given e zero zero, you know, like life expectation at birth is equal to forty, the complete expectation. And it tells us x is uniformly distributed between 0 and omega. And the question asks us find omega. Or maybe even not find omega. Let's do it, make it a little bit harder. Find variable of x. Variance of x, right? We need to find the variance of x. We given this uh, relationship. So we know that because we don't need to have integration or derivation or anything. We know this is uniform. We memorize the formula. So we know the uniform is omega over 2, which is equal here to 40. So immediately we take omega to be the limiting edge to be 80. Once you have the limiting edge to be 80, then the variance of x, which we know it now, it's not very difficult, is omega to 2, right? We, we know it. It's divided by 12, right? So 80 to 2 divided by 12, and I have my calculator ready, 80 raised to 2 divided, by, oh sorry, 80 raised to 2 divided by 12, it gives me right away 8, oh sorry, 5, 3, 3, and 1 third, right? And this is quite straightforward. Another example, usually exponential distribution, another one. So we have x is uh, exponentially distributed. Distributed. With mu equal, let's take, in, um, let's not take mu, let's take e 0 0 is 50 so life expectation at birth for this continuous distribution the zero here uh, here is uh, tell us age this is uh, um, the continuous distribution is 50 and find the question is find uh, 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 maybe you can do find him you yeah simple we know this is e 0 50 is equal 1 over mu then mu will be 1 over 50, correct? It's easy. So it's 2 over 100, which is 2 percent, right? It's simple. Now I think we finish a bit of information. So I uh, uh, posted up or I will post problem set for you with the solution. So this is to practice. In again, actuarial mathematics, like, like any any math course or statistics course, you learn by doing it. I can do few problems here. I just try to explain the concepts, but I will uh, also include uh, uh, problem sets. So today uh, you can start working on your problem sets. The solutions are there. But don't look at the solutions, try to solve it yourself. If you fail, then you look at the solution. If you really still not sure, you can always contact me. The other thing, it's also like uh, when we end uh, this uh, 
model uh, module on uh, uh, survival models we'll have uh, a session on solving a uh, few problems as well so we'll practice harder problems at the end once we accumulate uh, some knowledge but for now we can do the problem uh, set take care